Looking more closely at Citavi now, we can see that each project has three major tabs for references, knowledge items within these references, and a task manager to help you prioritize and schedule your work. The Reference Editor and Knowledge Organizer tabs have three panes which can be collapsed and expanded as needed. As we saw earlier, there are a variety of ways to import references. You can do so manually by typing the bibliographic information yourself, or more quickly by entering the ISBN, DOI, or PMID numbers. It's easy to look up ISBN numbers for books on Amazon, and DOI numbers for articles on Crossref. You can either copy and paste these numbers into the importer, or use the Citavi Picker plugin to extract references directly from the web or PDF. Citavi will copy web addresses automatically, but it's not as good as Mendeley at automatically extracting PDFs. You'll typically have to download and attach these yourself by clicking on the Local File button in the Reference tab. If you use the Picker plugin, Citavi will automatically import any keywords for your reference that it finds on the library database. If you want to manage this keyword lexicon yourself, as I discuss later on, and don't want to keep deleting these automatic additions, you'll want to turn off the Keyword Import option under Settings. You also need to specify the relationship between collected or edited works and the various contributions they contain. The copy of Absalom Absalom I've been using is actually part of a collected work, so I'll just change the reference type here and distinguish the author from the editor. The difference between collected works and edited books is that collected works still give you a primary author field, rather than a general editor. Then I'll add a contribution within this collected work for the novel Absalom Absalom. You can also clarify this relationship using metadata, as I'll show later on, but it's important to enter the editor and author fields correctly so that your bibliography is formatted properly. I try to clean up the formatting of references the moment I import them. Checking the title and editors against the PDF version and filling in any missing information. You might also want to enter the original publication date of each of your references so that you can sort the database chronologically. To do this, you just need to click the appropriate checkbox in the formatting settings and then select Sort by Year in the reference list. I like to leave this option on for the most part, but I switch it off when exporting citations so that the dates in the bibliography format correctly. I also like to rename all the files in the project with the original publication dates, which you can do by clicking the Settings gear under the Reference tab and selecting Rename Files with Citavi Short Title for one or all of the references in the project. After you've entered the general bibliographic metadata for your references, you can start to create more personal forms, adding tasks specific to each reference, with due dates, priority levels, notes, and progress. All these can be sorted and selected in the task pane, enabling you to easily determine the most urgent tasks in large and complex projects. I'll talk more about managing tasks later, but now let's look at the kind of metadata and PDF integration Citavi has to offer. In the Reference Editor, we can open up an additional side pane with the keywords and categories I described earlier, as well as another form of non-hierarchical metadata called groups. These are essentially a secondary system of keywords intended for miscellaneous tasks and transfers between projects. I tend not to use groups because all of this can be achieved more effectively with the right combination of categories and keywords. Citavi also gives us the ability to create bidirectional links on the context tab for each reference. I can even annotate and evaluate the nature of this link in terms of positive and negative relationships. These are reciprocal in the sense that a text I link to in one shows up in the text linked from another. Unfortunately, unlike categories, keywords, and groups, I can only apply these links to references, not the selections within them. I can easily create a hierarchy like the citation tree with more precise control than any of the programs we've seen thus far. I can even import this kind of outline hierarchy directly from Word and a variety of other programs by selecting the Import Category System option and then selecting the necessary file. Once these categories have been imported, I have a variety of ways to assign them, such as text fields with autocomplete menus and a dedicated window for browsing the hierarchy in its entirety. I can show or hide the numbers for each category by choosing this option in the side pane, but I'll always be able to see how many references have been assigned to each category in parentheses. With Citavi, I finally have the power to easily incorporate the citations within references into the same metadata structure. I can browse any attached PDF in the preview pane on the right using a keyword search and table of contents. I also have the basic navigation and markup tools I might find in Acrobat Reader, together with the ability to view any pre-existing annotations. 
Any additional annotations I make in Citavi can even be exported back into the original PDF by clicking on the tools in the upper left and selecting Export PDF Annotations. The Direct Quotation tool is by far one of the best features. With it, all I have to do is highlight the text I would like to quote, and Citavi will highlight it in the PDF, extract the text and page range as a knowledge object in the Quotation tab, and create a link between the two, so that the context for every direct quotation is only a click away. It's also much easier to select long passages, like the one from the beginning of Absalom Absalom that I've been using in the past few videos, using the Add and Subtract tools by holding down the Control or Shift buttons. If for some reason you want to redo the PDF highlight, Citavi makes it easy to detach and reattach direct quotations. Just delete the highlight from the PDF and you'll be asked whether you'd like to delete just the highlight or the Citavi quotation as well. Choosing the former, you can easily redo the citation and then either create a new direct quotation or just click the reattach link. You can create image quotations using the snapshot tool as well as indirect quotations, summaries, and comments. To attach a comment directly to a quotation, so that the metadata for the quotation is copied, just select Add Comment to Selection. You can view and edit these citations in the center pane and in the preview pane on the right, which displays a list of all the citations selected in the center. For more extensive editing, you'll probably want to use the pop-out editor, since you will not lose your cursor position during tasks that require you to click back and forth between windows. Unfortunately, this type of direct linking can only be created with PDFs. Citavi will extract text from web pages and other types of local files, but these must be converted to PDFs in order to create these kinds of anchored, bidirectional links. I've noticed that Citavi will not generate pagination for direct quotations when page 1 falls on the first page of the document, rather than after the front matter typically marked by Roman numerals. This will likely be resolved within the next update, but if you have Adobe Acrobat Pro, you can simply add a blank page to the beginning of the document, number it with a Roman numeral, and then continue with regular numbering after that, and the problem will resolve. I like to reread the passages I've quoted with a full keyboard handy, so that I can keyword tag them while they're fresh in my memory. Any pre-existing keywords or categories are instantly accessible from the drop-down autocomplete menu, which expedites the process by allowing us to select common keywords after only a few of their letters have been entered. While it isn't yet possible to create the kind of bidirectional links between citations as you can with entire references, you can still approximate this kind of linkage by creating keywords for the names of authors or specific works. This at least makes it possible to search for quotations with specific references to authors' works, even if it doesn't directly indicate the text doing the quoting and the text being quoted. Shifting from the Reference Editor to the Knowledge Manager tab, we can now see which metadata has been applied to the citations themselves, rather than the references. Here we can see all the keyword tags I've created thus far, with the number of citations to which they've been applied on the right. We can also return to the original text at any time by clicking on the link icon. I like to continue the microthematic tagging we began with the keywords by grouping the quotations from each work into categories. I find that the fine-grained work of keyword tagging exposes connections between quotations and makes them easier to categorize. I can easily drag and drop any unsorted quotations into the appropriate category in the side pane, or in the pop-out menu. The best part about Citavi is that we no longer need to restrict quotations to a single category or subcategory. If I want to include all the references or quotations I've made from a work in one branch and a selection of these in another, I can. If I were writing an essay, for instance, I could create a new category and apply it to quotations from pre-existing categories without having to copy this quotation, as I would have in the original citation tree. I could then use the Citavi plugin for Word to export these citations and bibliography and format them in MLA, APA, or any other style. I could even write an entire essay in Citavi by alternating citations and a type of knowledge object called thoughts. If I want to reorder the knowledge objects I've added to this essay category, Without having to separate them into subcategories, I can create subheadings specifically geared for publication, so that I can just add this whole category to Word as a text that is already organized and formatted. But inevitably, it still needs to be modified and revised, and doing so with the Citavi add-in can be difficult, especially when you're working with large project files. Every time you click on cited text, it will cause the corresponding knowledge object to open in the side pane, which is rather annoying and time-consuming.
I prefer to use placeholders instead, since they are lighter and more versatile than the hyperlinked fields created by the word add-in. The problem is that the technology that generates and formats these placeholders is currently under patent in the US. So when you download and install Citavi over an internet service provider in the US, these features will automatically be disabled. I was able to unlock them by uninstalling Citavi and then re-downloading and reinstalling it using a virtual private network to spoof a German internet service provider. You can turn the VPN off for the most part, you just need to turn it back on when using the features in question. This will let you access the Publication Assistant under Citations, a floating window that is almost identical to the Word add-in in that it allows you to import citations directly, but far less restricted since you can now use placeholders in almost any other rich text document. When you want to format these citations, select Format Publication and then choose your document. You can then see a preview of all the citations that have been identified. Modify these how you like, and choose a citation style. Just remember to turn on the VPN before you do. We can take considerable strain off our individual memories by recreating the infrastructure of our knowledge in a program like Citavi that actually allows us to experiment with different kinds of thematization and reflect on our organizational methods as the body of information grows. All I have to do is group select the references or knowledge items I want to modify, and then group select the categories or keywords I want to assign, without the tedium of changing them all individually. Rather than forcing new information into the same old categories for fear of forgetting it, this kind of batch processing enables us to tag each piece of information in a variety of overlapping ways. This is what I was getting at before when I suggested how it is actually easier to remember things when we use metadata to assign them multiple informational locations.